everybody it's mindy and um i'm just gonna chit chat i'm gonna talk i'm gonna be a little frazzled i just moved that where you can't see it probably oh let me see let's see how bad it was how bad is it how bad is it it's bad right it's bad hang on I'm trying to not step on or kick the leg to my tripod forgive me forgive me um it is uh, it has been a week and a half a week and a half <laughs> I, I don't mean that in number of days <laughs> you know like not actually a week and a half anyhow <laughs> okay now i can't see some of my symbols underneath my big clip over here where's the four where's the four how come i can't see it okay four symbol four is number 29 okay stay put stay put so this is my mystery canvas my mystery canvas from craftably um it's very pretty down here in the corner it's all blues some green and yellow i'm getting into some green and yellow areas now very pretty um it doesn't look like much down there yet <laughs> but you know we'll keep going and um I'm certain things will develop okay come on Oh, come out of the bag. See, this is what I, this is my, this is my week. This is my life. This is how things go right now. Yeah. So anyhow, um, wow, you guys have blown me away. I'm totally surprised, um, pleasantly surprised as to how many people are participating in this mystery along event. I was like, whoa. Um, I don't know the exact number right now, but it seems like one time I looked, there were like 70, 75 people. And I was like, wow, okay, this is fun. This is cool. So I'm super stoked, super, super stoked by that. You guys, I, thrilling, thrilling, right? I'm glad that you guys are participating and, um, having a good time with it, you know? so. Um, I've gotten a little bit done on mine. I think I've made some decent progress. Today is what, the 4th or the, I don't know. I need more. I need more Not Your Mama's Mud in this multi-placer. My multi-placer is not working. Let me try a different pen. I have a different pen. Try a new selection here. See how that works. I don't know. Where, where is my, my Not Your not Mama's <sighs> Okay. My not your mama's mud is right there in front of me. All I have to do is put some in the pen. Okay, I could do that if I took a second out to do that. I could do that. <laughs> oh boy. Anyhow, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, participating and being excited about this event, right? Thank you. Um, prizes are mysteries, as we said before. Mystery. I never got to do an announcement video for this. I just didn't. Uh, I apologize, but that is my life currently. So um, thank you to Angie, who did an announcement video. I've talked about it in my whipping chats. Maritz has talked about it. So I hope that you have gotten the information that you need. So anyhow, I must do better as soon as my life settles down a little bit. Okay. Anyhow, um, prizes will be a mystery. I had a mystery donation. See, it's all a mystery. <laughs> I had a mystery donation to go towards prizes. So the three of us are going to get together and decide what we want to do with that mystery donation, how we want to utilize that um, to do some cool prizes. There's going to be some weekly prizes. I got some stuff from Angie the other day that she wanted to contribute. Each of us, I think how we're going to do it is each of us are going to do a weekly prize. And we haven't really talked about who's going to do which week or anything yet, but I think each of, each of us are going to be responsible for a weekly prize. And then there will be, of course, a grand prize, the mystery prize, right? So 
yeah, lots of fun. All you really need to do is post your pictures in our Facebook group, Diamond Moments and Crafts. Angie is now a uh, admin or moderator in that group, so she can do some things. She posted the first post for the week. Thank you, Angie, for doing that. She said she was going to be up late so she could do it. It wouldn't be a big deal. So she posted that and got us rolling. And I mean, it's going really good. It's going really, really good. I'm super excited by the whole thing. So um, post your pictures once a week, just once a week, please, in our Facebook group um, underneath the pinned post for the week. It will always be at the top or very near the top. It's always in the Featured tab. There's a bunch of tabs at the top. Go to Featured. It will always be there. You can find the weekly post. You're supposed to post your picture. Post it in the comments of that post, okay? All right. So, great. Wonderful. Um, at the end of this week, we will be drawing a winner for a prize. And like I said, I'm not certain who's giving away that prize, the first one, but one of us will. We'll let you know. We need to chit-chat again. So. Yeah, just have a good time, you guys. Have a good time. Um, I think this is awesome. Uh, super awesome. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is April, right? Yeah, April. Um, what comes up after April? May. May is the Alan Gianna along. Um, really need to get busy on that. Maritza and I are doing that one together. We really need to get that together and figure out some details and things like that so that we can get information out to everybody. I'm going to try to do that as soon as I can, you guys, as soon as I can. Um, life is just, it's kicking my butt. I'll talk about it. It's kicking my butt. It's like if there was one more thing, one more thing on my plate, I think my plate would crack, <laughs> right? I, I don't think it could handle one more thing. So it's got to settle down here soon, I hope, you know. Um, and I'll talk all about that in a minute. But um, May will be the Alan Gianna event, which means get your Alan Gianna painting. You have to get that from Dreamers Designs. They're the only company I know of that has Alan Gianna as a licensed artist. So you'll have to. Check out Dreamers Designs. There's many lovely choices. Lovely, lovely choices. Love his artwork. And we decided that we wanted to spotlight it and work on one of his beautiful paintings. With that being said, I have a lot of paintings that I haven't finished here. <laughs> and I don't know when I'm going to get them finished. And I just it just seems like I just keep starting more stuff and starting more stuff and not finishing a thing. Um, oh, well, that's how it's going. That's how it is, folks. Finish, starting, no finishes. Start, no finish. Okay, all right. <laughs> but be ready for that. Um, like I said, go check out Dreamers Designs and see if there's something there that you would like. Um, you can use my code. I have a code. It's Mindy15. That could save you 15% off a of painting at Dreamers Designs. Yes. So try that out. See how that works for you. Um, please. If you are at all skeptical, skeptical about a dreamer's designs, like you may have heard different things or whatnot, I encourage you to just try one. Try one. The one that I did for November was beautiful. It worked up great. I love it. And um, yeah, it's one of those things. Don't, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> it's one of those kind of things. So be prepared for that. And I'm really, really going to give it my best effort to get information out in a timely manner, or at least more timely than it was this month, because this month was not timely. Um, good news is I, I did some shipping today. I needed to ship some, th some things. I got that out. Berta, Berta, your package for being a member. It's on the way, on the way. It might take a long time. It's going USPS ground. So I don't know what that even means. Don't you have to take a plane to get to Alaska from here? I don't know. Anyhow, it might be a while, but it's on the way. Okay. It's on the way. Thank you again. 
Um, I have a membership video I need to get up, get recorded. I got to go. I mean, I got to go through the names. Got to make sure everybody's still here. I knew people. Joe, Joe, you're in this month. My good friend Joe um, signed up as a member. And so thank you, Joe. You're, now, you're in the membership drawing now. <laughs> Joe just had a birthday too. Happy birthday, Joe. All right. So, yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. Just life, life in general. Um, and then, of course, June will be the Craftably event with Kara, myself, and Brandy, the principal painter, Mystery Diamonds, and me, Mindy. <laughs> right? So that will be in June. The retreat is in June. So things are in full swing for that. Like, it's, it's crunch time. You know, now it's crunch time. Things like decorations have to be finished and donations. Um, I have to touch base with those people, make sure those are on their way. Just lots of things to do with that as well. Like I said, life is at a crazy, crazy speed right now. Just so many things going on. Every day I'm like, I need to just try to get this, this, and this done. And I might get one of those things done. I've been saying for, I don't know how many weeks now, I need to take down the snowman out of my living room. It's April. Snowmen are still in my living room. They've got to go, but I have not had time to do it. Okay. So there's that. But yeah, all of those things are fun. I enjoy doing them. It's just right now with everything else in my life, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. All right. Um, any other things with events? I'm trying to think. Anything else with events? Nothing I can think of right now. And I don't want to go too far out, you know, in into the rest of the year. But those are the next two things coming up. Are the Alan Gianna event and then Craftably event. I just want to stay home and do nothing except diamond paint or crochet. That's what I want to do, right? That's what I like to do. But it's not happening. <laughs> so, oh, goodness. Let's talk about life. You ready to talk about life? Are you ready? If you're ready for just chaos and the way things are, here we go. All right, this is driving me nuts. It's like I have, look, I have like hardly no area to work on here. Okay, got to take this off here. I love these big clips. They hold things on my light pad very nicely. But we need some more space. I think we're going to go like this. I need to get some release papers on here. I haven't gotten that done yet. I mean, I've only got this little corner. <laughs> I've only worked on a corner, right? But I think it's time to um, get release paper. Okay, there. Stay put. Stay put. It would be great if you were like somewhere a little more helpful. You're not super helpful where you're at. This plastic is so thick. It doesn't want to stay. Okay. Stay. Stay there. Okay. All right. I got a few little equal signs. I think I'm going to finish those up. And then we'll move over to this section. Over here. Of course, where's the equal sign at? I don't know. Oh, I got... Oh, I have sideways equal signs. One's going this way. One's going... Yeah, they're going like that. Where's the one that's going like that? <laughs> It's probably right underneath that clip. No, it's not. It's right there. Okay. Um, yeah, I got a lot of double lines going on here. A lot of double lines. Okay. Oh. Okay. Where do I start? Where do I start? First of all, making videos, recording videos, uploading, keeping up with my schedule, doing my lives. That's taking up a lot of time. Okay. Time that I just, I don't have big huge blocks of time like I used to have to do those things um I am still helping my sister she is still dealing with the surgery and the drains as a matter of fact today as I'm recording this she's back at the doctor she was really really hoping as was I that this week when she went to the doctor the drain would come out. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, I'm almost positive that 
that drain did not come out today when she went to the doctor. Because I was there this morning and I drained it and it is still, you know, still quite a bit. So I am pretty sure there's no way they took that out today. Which would make life easier for her, for me, for everybody, for her other friends and things like that that are helping out. Um, I haven't really talked about her surgery or the circumstances of it or anything like that because it was hers. It's her private thing, you know, but, um, yeah, I, I think I'll just keep it that way. Um, cause it's not my story to tell other than that she's had surgery and it was a major surgery and it's a very, it was a very painful surgery. Um, things like that. So it's taking a lot to recover from. Um, I don't know when she'll be cleared to even drive. So right now she can't go anywhere unless somebody takes her. Um, so like yesterday was a doctor's appointment. I took her to that. Um, today I just went and did her drain, but I had some other information to talk to her about, which I'll share with you in a minute. <laughs> That's another thing. And then tomorrow is a therapy appointment. Not therapy. Uh, yeah, therapy. She has therapy. I'll take her to that one. Thursday, provided she still has the drain, I'll need to go over and do that. Friday, my dad will take her to her therapy appointment. Um, so it's just, it's a lot. I'm not needing to go in the evenings now because she has a friend that's coming over in the evenings just to help with the drain. But it's not like it's a quick thing either when I go. I mean, I could buzz in, do the drain, and leave. But we always end up, there's other things. Like one day she wanted me to help her get some gooey stuff off of her back, you know, and other things that happen. So it's just, it's taken, I mean, it's a couple hours every day, you know, at least. Tomorrow will probably be more than that. So, I don't know. It's just a lot. I'm not saying I regret doing it or anything, but it is it is what it is right now. Dale's holding down the fort here at home, you know. He's doing laundry and dishes and things like that. So, he's taking care of that stuff, and I'm just helping her as much as I can, you know. And still leave some time for me to do the things that I need to do. And sometimes just things I want to do, right? Because the Lord knows I need to have some things in my life that are just for me. Um, so anyhow, I'll talk to her in a little bit here. I haven't talked to her yet today since the appointment. And just get a rundown of her schedule for the week and how things are going to go for the rest of the week. So I try to plan what I need to do around her schedule, really, is what I'm trying to do. Um, anyhow, that's just one thing. All right. Now, let's talk about Dale a little bit. <laughs> well, first of all, Saturday, Angie and I went to the Fiber Festival in Ann Arbor. It wasn't a large Fiber Festival, like the first one we went to that had animals and all that kind of stuff. This one was two barns that were full of vendors, basically. Lots of yarn and yarny things. And we were really there for like three hours. Um, there will be a little bit of video and a crafty vlog. Neither one of us videoed like anything in the barns. It was very busy. There were a lot of people there. And we just didn't find a good opportunity to actually film any of the actual Fiber Fest itself. So sorry about that. But we just didn't, we didn't do it. Um, it was very crowded. Anyhow, I do have um, a little video of beforehand. I show you some stuff that I got there, things like that. So that'll be in a crafty vlog when I can get that one d uploaded, <laughs> right? So that was um, our anniversary. That was on the first. Dale and I celebrated 12 years of being married and I went to the Fiberfest. <laughs> right? Um, that's okay. Um, he knew that and it was going to be a rainy day anyhow, which it was. I mean, it was raining. That's another reason we didn't film much. We could have done some stuff outside, but it was raining and we're like, no, no. Um, 
So Dale and I had plans that we were going to do something on Sunday for our anniversary, which is what we did. Um, we'd been talking about it for quite a while, about going up to Grand Rapids to the Meyer Gardens. So, you know, I talk about Meyer all the time, one of my favorite stores, right? Well, Fred Meyer um, had this gardens made, and they're in honor of his wife. So he has these beautiful gardens up there, and I had no idea how much was really there until we went on Sunday. There will be an entire vlog of the Meyer Gardens. I was fascinated. I was fascinated. I did a lot of filming there. Um, March and April are their butterfly months. So they have a huge greenhouse slash conservatory. And they have thousands and thousands of butterflies in there. That was pretty cool. We've been to several butterfly houses and things. But this one is amazing. It's amazing. Just wait until you see some of the footage that I got of some of the butterflies. Pretty darn cool. And then there's a huge, huge amount of things outside. There's a children's garden. There's an old working farm. Not working. I mean, an old farm um, that is pretty much left like the way it was. You know, there's barns. There's no animals there. Um, but left kind of in that rustic state of a farm, you know, which is pretty cool. Everything outside, there's sculptures all over the place. Um, it's well known for the sculptures. Sometimes they have special exhibits where artists will come and display their work. But then there's just a whole bunch of the sculptures that are permanent fixtures there. Fixtures, right? So there's tons of those to look at. The children's garden, there's a Japanese garden, there's something just called the sculpture garden. Um, it was, there was so much, so much to look at. We spent about five hours there. Didn't think we were going to be there that long, but we were. We spent quite a bit of time there. We covered it pretty well. A lot of the Japanese garden wasn't accessible. It wasn't opened. They had it closed off, um, which was unfortunate because there was some really pretty things. So the plants and such weren't blooming yet because it's too early in Michigan for much to bloom. Um, some wildflowers were blooming, but um, that was about it. We'll go back again someday, like when flowers are in bloom, because I can only imagine how beautiful it is when the flowers are all blooming and stuff. Certainly it'll be gorgeous. We found where Fred Meyer and his wife, Lena, are buried. They're buried out at the farm. Um, and it was interesting to learn about um, learn about them and their lives and what they did with their lives and the philanthropy that they um, always had their whole life, you know, helping out different organizations and things. So it was a, a learning experience as well. We learned some things and saw some beautiful stuff and it was a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. Then, you know, we're back to reality and having to do other things and grocery shop and all those fun things. So, But while I was at the Fiber Festival on Saturday, um, Dale was rescuing people. <laughs> Dale has been in rescue mode for days now. Rescue, rescue, rescue. It has been raining here to beat the band. I mean, rain, rain, rain rain. So I took off to go to the fiber festival thinking he was just going to hang out at home, chill out, find a couple things to do. I don't know, you know. Nope. He got a call early in the morning after I left um, that my sister's basement had water in it. So he goes to my sister's house and he helps her. Has to shop back the basement, get the water out of the basement. So much, so much rain, you guys. Um, and come to find out today when I was there, um, her boyfriend was there. She's had to have somebody come every day and shop back out the basement and get the water out. 
and discovered today that it's actually coming right through her foundation, right through the wall in her basement. So that's no good. You got to figure out how she can fix that before everything in the basement gets wet. It's kind of contained in one area right now, not the entire basement because she's caught it in time, you know. So that's going to be um, interesting, having that fixed. So they went over there and helped with that in the morning, got that shop backed out so it could start drying and things. Then gets a call from my dad. <laughs> and my dad has water in his basement. My dad has a walkout basement, you know, so there's a door. Um, and there's like a, we call it the walkout hole. <laughs> We've always called it the walkout hole. I don't know why it got named that, but so there's water standing down there outside of the door. And of course it has no place to go. So it's seeping in underneath his door coming into the basement. So he goes over and he helps out my dad for a while, right? Um, helped him with the door down there and the water. Uh, helped him with his eaves troughs, made sure that the eaves troughs were clear so the water was running better. Um, helped him with his driveway. I, I told you about his driveway getting hit by a, a young kid going to school one day. Well, there's a culvert underneath the driveway, right? So when this kid wrecked all of the landscaping, he also uh, drove a whole bunch of dirt and stuff into the culvert. So it's not draining properly. So Dale cleaned up some of that. Yep. So while I was off having a good old time buying yarn and stuff, here Dale is <laughs> uh, sopping up water, vacuuming up water, doing eaves troughs, all that kind of stuff. He's a good guy. I'll just, you know, he's a good guy. I'll just give him that. So um, then we're trying, then, then Josh calls, my son, Josh, he calls. He's like, so I might need a little help. I'm like, oh boy, what does he need now? Oh, look, I just put those away. There's two X's, there's two X's. All my X's. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I did the equal signs, right? I did. But there's three right there. I just totally ignored. Okay, let's move on to something else. Okay, um, I'm going to do the stack of balls. You know what I mean when I say, I said that last time, the stack of balls, you guys know. Okay. Um, so Josh needs a little help. He's like, you know, I've had this battery, it hasn't been working that great. I've been kind of jumping the car to keep it going, but I think I need a new battery. I don't think it's going to work anymore. So trying to hook up with him, he's got Mondays and Tuesdays off to go get a battery. Now. This kid's car, it, it is the dumbest car. It is just a dumb car. The battery is in the trunk, all right? I, I don't know who designs a car and puts the battery in the trunk, but that's where it's at. Well, when your car goes dead and your battery is in the trunk, then he has this security system that goes off and it locks his car up. So he can't get in it. And the only way to get in it would be to have power to get into the car, to turn the car on. To, you, you following me? So he couldn't even get in the car and his keys are locked in the car until Dale got there. <laughs> so Dale had to like at least jump it. It didn't ever start the battery, but it surged enough electricity through it that he could get the door unlocked. And uh, it's crazy. So anyhow. Today, that's what Dale was doing, was helping Josh get a new battery. And this battery is crazy expensive for a car battery. And it has to do with the fact that the stupid thing's in the trunk. And so because it's in the trunk, it needs to be vented. But, okay, I guess that makes sense. But why? Why? Why do you do that? Why would anybody do that? Ooh, that's an X right there on my finger. I just picked that up. I know that's an X because it's black. Where'd, where'd those X's go? Right there. There's one. <laughs> so he helped him do that today. I was with my sister today. 
we were talking about another situation today. <laughs> Trying to figure that one out. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Right? So he went over to Josh's. I was with my sister. They're working on the car. Her and I are talking about stuff with my dad and my mom and my grandma's house. Um, I get home and I'm ready to start recording my whipping chip. Okay. Get my tripod. Get everything ready to go. And I start looking for my mic. Okay. My mic is two pieces. One piece attaches to my shirt. It's a lapel mic. It's all you are uh, Bluetooth, you know. And the other piece goes in the end of my phone, like where you would plug in your, uh, to charge your battery. It plugs in there. I can't find that piece. I can't find that piece anywhere. I am looking, looking, looking all over the place. Now, I know when I record and I'm done, I take off these two pieces and I put them out in the kitchen. They're either on the counter right over by our charging station or I put them up on the shelf of the charging station. So I know where my two pieces are at. Always. They're always there. Last time I used them was Saturday night. Okay? Saturday night. And I know, I know I put them back on that counter and they should be over there by the charging station, if not on the charging station. They're not there. I can't find them anywhere. I moved everything on the counter. Look through everything. Look through stuff that wouldn't even make sense for it to be in. Looking for the piece that plugs into my phone. It's not there. I come into the office. I'm like, did I leave it in the office on Saturday night? Is that even a possibility? I come in here. I get a flashlight. I'm looking everywhere with a flashlight. Underneath the desk. Underneath. It. I cannot find it. I am now having a fit. Right? I don't have a mic. So I start looking on Amazon to get the same mic that I got about a year ago for about 15 or $17. The thing is doubled in price. Doubled. It's $38 or $28 now. Okay. I'm just checking it to make sure it's still on. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm like, I'm really frustrated. So I'm like, okay. I know that I got this mic because I did not like the last one that I got, which was a plug-in mic. It just plugged into my phone. And I didn't like it. It sounds horrible. So I tried it again and I was like, oh yeah, this is terrible. This is why I got the new Bluetooth mic because this one is horrible. I'm like, well, I'm going to have to just record this whip and chat without a mic and just yell and try to turn my head towards my phone. <laughs> right? So it picks up my voice better. I'm so frustrated. Literally, I spent... I don't know, 45 minutes looking for this thing. Well, then I hear Josh's car. I can always hear Josh's car because it needs some muffler work. So I hear Josh's car pulling in. And I'm like, well, what the heck? Why is Josh here? Dale went to his house to fix the battery. Why is he here? Right? So I go out and I'm like, what's going on? What are we doing? So Dale pulls in behind him. He had him come over here to do an oil change. Now he's got a battery. He also says, let me do an oil change. Okay. So Josh drives over here. They're doing an oil change. Or Dale's doing the oil change. Not Josh. <laughs> Josh doesn't know how to do that. Um, and so I look at Josh and I'm like, come here. I need another set of eyes. I am not crazy, but maybe I am. I don't know. I just want you to look. I told him what I was looking for. He gets his phone out, turns on his flashlight, and I'm like, yeah, I had the flashlight on already. <laughs> he looked all through the office. He looked in the same place as I'd looked. At, no, it's not there. So I'm just standing there at my kitchen counter like, I know I put it on this counter. Where else could it have gone? And I said, I don't know. Dale was messing around with these drawers the other day. He had everything out of the two top drawers. And I'm like, I opened the drawers. One of the drawers has a few towels, uh, chip bag clips, bread ties, things like that are in that drawer. I opened up the drawer and I'm looking in the drawer and I'm like, 
huh. Josh, come here. <laughs> I call Josh over there and I'm like, huh, what do you see? And he reaches in and he picked it out. There was my, my microphone part that I needed in the drawer with the bread ties because Dale had emptied out the drawer, cleaned out the drawer, and then put everything back in the drawer, apparently including my microphone part, you know. I'm like, oh my gosh. Well, thank goodness I don't have to buy a new one, right? First of all, I don't have to buy a new one. And then I go out in the garage, and he's out there working on the car. And I'm like, so honey, I got a question for you. I said, just wondering if if microphones belong in, in the um, bread bread clip drawer. And he was like, what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And he knew, he immediately knew, you know, he had cleaned out those drawers, emptied them out and all that stuff. And he knew, and he's like, whoops, <laughs> I'm like, yep, whoops. I said, well, at least I don't have to spend $30 to get a new one, right? And I can record. <laughs> so I was thinking I was going to record. Well, <sighs> Josh is here. And <sighs> I have wanted for a while to just sit with the child. And talk financial stuff, like budgeting. Like, he doesn't know how to do that. So he's always struggling with money because he just doesn't know how to budget money, how to work with things, how to, you know, arrange things so that it all works. And I wanted to just sit with him for a while. So him and I did. We sat down. We made a budget. We talked about a budget. We talked about a couple bills he could possibly Maybe move the due date to make it easier to pay him. A couple other things that he could have on auto pay. Just a good old financial talk with him, you know, to just kind of help him out a little and just be like, see, it can be done. Here's some things you can do, blah, blah, blah. And it was really good. And it was really good. And I'm glad we had the chance to do it. And he was glad that we did it too. It was the first time he's actually sat down and opened up and, you know, been open to getting help and whatnot. Not help, but you know what I mean. Advice. And so that was good. Um, and then Dale gets a phone call. He's done with the car now. He gets a phone call and it's his daughter who's having problems with a flat tire and she's at work trying to get home. I'm like, oh boy. So Dale's like, well, you probably shouldn't drive it. Um, I can be there in a few minutes. I'll bring the air compressor. So he has a tank, you know, he can put air in the tank. And so he headed off to go help his daughter with a tire that was going flat. He's still gone. I don't know how that's turning out, but poor Dale, it's just been do this, do this, do this, help this person, help this person. You know, I'm like, oh my goodness. So he's off helping her with the tire now. And then when he left, Josh just started talking to me. You know, it's not very often that he opens up and just talks and shares his life with me, personal things. And he did. And I was like, I just kept listening and talking and encouraging and you know all that stuff and in the back of my mind I'm like I have to go film I have to go film I have to go film. <laughs> but I'm like nope 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 this is more important this is more important talk with your child listen to your child engage with your child you know all of those good things that we do as parents so it was very nice I mean it was very nice like I said it does not happen often that he opens up and shares his personal life, you know. So when he does, I mean, it's it's good. It's touching. It's moving. It's, you know, makes me feel good as a mom that he he's opening up. So I take advantage of that whenever I get that opportunity. So he finally left, and here I am recording a whip and show. Finally, right? Um, and then I only have a little bit of time because tonight is the book live. 
And so the first thing I had to do was schedule that because I hadn't managed to make it into the office to even schedule the book live. So got that scheduled for tonight, <laughs> ready to go. Have a few moments to record a whip and chat, and then I'll be doing the book live. See, it's just one thing after another, you guys. One thing after another. Um, the other thing I'm dealing with is a crazy long story. And just to make it make it a short story, because you don't need to know all the details, is um, my grandma passed away years and years ago, um, owned a home. My mom never did anything with the house. She was the last surviving child of theirs. And when she knew that she was ill and probably not going to survive cancer this time, she decided it was time to finally, after since 1999, technically, deal with my grandma's house, try to get it in her name, which was a big fiasco, long story. I'm not going to share everything, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen correctly. It never got done. We didn't know exactly what she had done, what point in the process she was in until we get notification that a law firm has taken over as representative for my grandma. And I'm like, whoa, okay, uh, we got to do something about that, you know? So I agreed to be the representative for my grandma to deal with this house. And that's really all there is, is a house. Um, and so I've taken over. I've had court date chats with this lawyer on the phone, et cetera, et cetera. For me to take over and all we're trying to do is just get the house out of my grandma's name get it over into my mom and dad's trust um and then it's there for my dad he can sell it and he can have the income from it right the money from it okay well what a hassle what a hassle it has been court date another court date fees that the lawyer incurred when they were in charge, all of this stuff, trying to figure out how to transfer this house over to my dad. It's a friggin' nightmare. It's just a nightmare. It's technically not super hard, I don't think, and it would have been a whole lot easier, a whole lot easier if this could have been handled when my mother was still alive to help do this stuff. It would have been so much easier. Now we have this lawyer that got involved in it, probate court assigned, all their fees, all of this stuff, trying to get them out of it. I can finish it up. I need to get a deed transfer, all this other stuff. It's just, it's crazy. It's just too much. It's too much. We're just like, mom, 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 you know? Uh, if she was alive, she would hate this conversation right now because she hated it any time that I said something about her <laughs> on my YouTube channel, you know. But <sighs> it would have been so much easier. Anyhow, trying to clean up that mess. And it's just a lot of time and effort and questions to be answered. And how do I do it? And, you know, and okay, I'm just going to I'm just going to say right here. I am not an idiot, okay? I am not a dumb person. I consider myself fairly intelligent. I mean, you know, I went to college. I have a bachelor's degree. I have a master's degree. I was a teacher for 24 years. But this chick, I think she's a paralegal at the uh, lawyers. Oh, I was ready. I was ready to just tell her what I thought. <laughs> Because when I was talking to her today about their fees and this and that, and that there is no money to pay their fees unless someone sells this house, she got snarky with me and she treated me like I should know all of these things. And she was throwing information at me left and right. Like, we're going to have to do this and this and this. Well, this should have happened. And this should, I'm like, lady, first of all, stop being snarky with me. Because I don't know what you're talking about. Second of all, I am not a lawyer. And this is not my area of expertise. 
and you are acting like I should know, like I am an idiot because I don't know these things. Well, I don't work in the legal field on a daily basis like you do. I'm still learning how to do these things, right? I was ready. I was inches, inches, breaths away, breaths away from telling her off. And I'm like, oh, you know, you don't treat people like that. You don't treat people like they're, they're idiots and they don't know anything. We don't know it because it's not anything we've ever experienced before. I mean, it's like going to the doctor and having the doctor tell you you've got such and such and such an illness or whatever. And when you're like, what? What does that mean? And he's like, well, you know, he gets all snarky with like, what do you mean you don't know? You should know what that is, right? That's how I was being treated. And it really annoyed me. So it just, it really annoyed me today. And so I talked to her yesterday, actually, but I was still fuming about it today with my sister. And I was just like, oh, you know, I am not an idiot, but this is something I have never dealt with before. Am I learning? Absolutely. You know, am I learning what I have to do? Yep. And you know what? I'm pretty much, I don't want to hear from her anymore. I don't want it. I want you to, I don't want you to tell me anything anymore. I can handle this. I'm getting it figured out. I can do this on my own. You just stay out of it now, which is going to happen. There's another court date coming up. And this is when they go to the court and they say, these were all of the fees that we incurred. It's, it's tons, tons, stuff that you don't even know. Why, why did you do that? What was that for? You know, how come that costs so much? And their fees are like exorbitant. That's crazy. So this last meeting is them saying, we are done. We are not the representative anymore. These were our costs. And getting the court to say, yep, I agree. Those costs are reasonable and due to you. And we have to figure out how to pay them. Okay. All right. So that happens sometime in April. Okay. All right. <laughs> So I'm I'm done dealing with them, you know. I'm done dealing with them. That's my life. That is my life. Okay. So the rest of the week will look like, you know, more taking my sister to appointments and things, more going over to her house, helping her out, and trying to squeeze in a video here and there when I can squeeze one in and get it recorded. And I know people will comment and they'll say, don't worry about us. Don't worry about recording your videos. Just take care of family. And, and I, I get that. I totally get that. But you also need to understand it is one of my release type things, you know. It's a time when I can just, uh, I do something that I like doing. I do something that's fun for me to do. You know, it's, it's a thing. I just, you know, it's a little stressful right now. I'm managing. Um, it's eased up a little bit now that she has a friend coming over in the evenings and I don't have to go back in the evenings. It's better. It's better. And it will be getting better. But it looks like probably at least one more week of me going over there daily. After that, I don't think I'd have to go daily. I think maybe she might still need somebody to drive her to therapy for a while yet before she can drive. And I could do that one day a week. My dad will do it one day a week. Um, so maybe one more week. I don't know. With that being said, I should call her and find out how things went today at the doctor's appointment. And if I'm, if we're correct that she still has the drain and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's a process. It's a long process. It's a hard recovery. It's not the only surgery she's going to have. I'll say that. There's going to be a couple more yet this year. Um, she has to recover from this one first, you know, but there's more on the horizon down the road. She's not looking forward to that. I mean, she, you know, nobody looks forward to having more surgery, but it's something that's going to have to happen. Um, so it's one day at a time, one day at a time, you know, and if she's learned anything and I've learned everything, it's like, 
take today for today. Think about today and what today offers. You know, you can't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow because it's not here yet. Right? There's no sense in fretting over the past because you can't change it. So think about each day as each day comes. What did I do today? How can I make today the best day? How can I have a good attitude about whatever is happening today, even if it's tough? You know, think about the good things that have happened. Think about how far you've come. Make each day the best day it can be. If, you know, I haven't learned anything else through this whole process with her, it's take it one day at a time. Take it one day at a time, you know. So, anyhow. There's a little therapy for you today, right? A little therapy, a little craziness in my life, a little therapy. <laughs> just I'm all all over the board, right? Up and down, back and forth, everything. It's just yeah. Well, um, I think I'm done talking. Do I have anything else I need to say? I don't think so. Um, look for prizes coming up. Next week, somebody's going to get a prize. We'll announce it in the Facebook group and um, probably on our videos. Or, you know, like I said, I'm not certain who's giving out the first prize. I should go contact my girls right now and be okay, who's giving out the first prize? <laughs> who's responsible for prize number one? We don't even know yet. <laughs> you know, that's what happens. I was on vacation and this and that, you know. Ah. Someday, someday, life will be more organized. I promise. I promise. It will be, right? I promise. Okay. Well, I'm going to go now. And guess what? I think it's raining again. We don't need any more rain. On the way to my sister's house today, there's a road that will flood quite often. It was flooded. Yep. I mean, I could still get through, but you had to just stop and creep through the water. There's a marshy area there. There's a great big pond there, too. Um, and it was flooded. So water in their basements. Thank God. Thank goodness. Ooh, knock on wood. There's no water in our basement here. So hope we keep it that way. But more rain's on the way. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me go because now it's, I'm going to need to try to edit and upload this video before um, my book live tonight. <laughs> oh, and I just stood up and saw the time. Joe, be proud of me, Joe. Look at that time on that video, okay? Be proud of me, okay? <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. And I will talk to everybody soon. I hope you have a great week. And uh, happy mystery diamond painting. There we go. Talk to you soon.